please be advised there are spoilers ahead related to the property being watched and or discussed. Hello! Welcome back, my dear subscribers. Those of you that love my reactions to Fringe, welcome back. And those of you that may be new here to my channel, welcome, welcome. This is where I like to watch, react, and share my two cents about two particular properties related to sci-fi and fantasy. In this video, I'm going to react to the sci-fi part of things, and that is to the third season of Fringe, episode one, nicely titled Olivia. And considering where we left off at the end of season two with Olivia on the other side with meanie, baddie, Walternate. Hmm. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, she was in solitary confinement, and he just, like, shut the blinds on her, and she's in the dark. And I couldn't help but think, you know, just on a practical level, like, is there at least, you know, a, a toilet in there? <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm very excited to finally get to the season that a large majority of you have said is your favorite. And it's supposed to be, like, just a roller coaster ride of a lifetime here. So, I'm expecting that. Okay, I'm expecting five ash emojis to be just like coming out like candy for me <laughs> for every single episode. <laughs> Is that too much of an expectation? I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm very impressed with this series, as I've said before, and I'm very thankful and um, almost uh, surprised, really, how many of you really do enjoy my reaction to this show. Uh, <laughs> I know some of you do enjoy laughing at me, <laughs> not really with me, but it's okay, it's okay. Um, I, I've, I'm, I've not made it a secret that some stuff I catch on to, some stuff I don't, and sometimes I think I have and I completely haven't, and when I have been corrected here and there, I misunderstand the correction, which is kind of not a good thing. I don't know, it's weird, whatever. But it's the journey I'm on, and for the things that I do get right, it feels good and I'll just appreciate those moments as much as I can and not focus on the negative. So without further ado, enough of my babble. Here's my reaction to episode one for you. What is happening to you? Given the nature of your job, the upsetting events you come in contact with on a regular basis, coupled with the injury to your head, it's not surprising. Your mind has created this fantasy. A means of processing the trauma. This is not a fantasy. You agree you are an agent with Fringe Division. I work for the FBI in Fringe Division. Dealing with weird and mysterious events that threaten the safety of the United States and its residents. Okay, yeah, this is our Olivia. So we're in the other universe. What are they doing with her? Is this your mother? She looks like her, but it isn't her. Agent Lincoln Lee, Johnny Francis. Are these your partners? No. And who is this? <laughs> ah, look at that gun. Another Olivia Dunham. The Olivia Dunham from over here. So did they put her in some kind of custody where these people are going to think she's nuts? It sounds preposterous. Which is what I thought when I first learned about it. But as insane as it sounds, mm. it's the truth. Who's Peter? Okay, I'll take that as a yes. Peter's my colleague. A civilian consultant. My team and I crossed over here. Find him and bring him home. And where are they now? Peter and your friends? I don't know. But I assume they had to go home without me. I am not crazy. That is not my mother. My mother died when I was 14. The Charlie Francis that I knew was murdered. I have never won an Olympic medal for marksmanship. Is that really in the Olympics? Or is that just for this universe? Hmm. Huh. You wanted to see me, sir? Definitely messing her up. Treatments are not working. Well, that's uh, not such a surprise. 
We always knew that transferring memories was a long shot at best. Aw, his humor is kind of not there. If we give her another dose, it could kill her. You and I know something. That many lives and many more dollars have been spent to keep secret. That we are at war. At war with another universe. Somehow this girl came here. Somehow she is equipped to move through universes. We need her to help us understand this skill. Because if we can do it, we can win this war. Yeah. And if not, soon there'll be nothing left to protect. Quite a conundrum when you really think about it. So they're drugging her with something that will help them figure out her ability. That's all I understand so far. What kind of food they serve here? Is it lasagna night? <laughs> Butterscotch pudding? That would be kind of funny. Alright, so he said this could kill her. strategy. I love it. You go. All right. So it's going to be like the, like the last time she gets out. Woo! Throat punch. Nice. She know where to go. Can she get out? Let's see. tell you if I had an ounce of her luck I'd be a millionaire Woo! she's gonna jump might as well hide in the water a little bit till they're gone I don't know there's the bronze So this remains red. I thought it was just for that episode, but it's um, officially the transition into this new season. Me like. <laughs> Manhattan with one T. <laughs> I think that's one of the most times I've been corrected on something so minor. Hey, this guy, I haven't seen him in one. You know I can't put this camera in the drive without your ID. What's your name? She swam that far? Listen, Andy, what I need you to do right now is I need you to drive. What? Keep your cool, Henry. What's his name, right, Henry? Show patrol says there's no way she could have made it across. Okay, it's not that much of a. What do you think? Oh, I think from what I know, Olivia Dello, she's the one person I would bet on who could survive. <laughs> Superwoman. I wonder if any of her abilities helped her somehow, though. I mean, it's quite extraordinary. I've been held against my will. And I'm being pursued by a division of the government. They've done experiments on me. 
They're trying to convince me that I'm someone that I'm not. Sure, lady, sure. Is that your family? I wonder if she has a tracking thing on her or inside of her, though. She doesn't know. I don't know what you're doing, but the last thing I need now is any kind of trouble. You're not in any trouble, Henry. As long as you do exactly as I say. Okay, I want you to slow down. Just up here and park. That moment kind of reminded me of the Collateral movie. Give me your ID. You show me. Use your memory to remember all those numbers. Okay, you're gonna go into that store and you're gonna buy me some clothes. I now know where you and your family live. If you alert anyone, Henry, I assure you, trouble will find you. <laughs> She's just kidding, Henry. Then again, desperate times. Daily flights to the moon! I need to be in that universe! I wonder if it's expensive. <laughs> is it only a billionaire thing? Oh, wow! Their medical stuff is amazing. You know Olivia. She's strong. Physically, she's doing a lot better. But they're saying she had a complete psychotic break. Heard people losing time, you know, not being able to remember the day leading up to a bad car accident. This is crazy. And the other Olivia? She escaped to the other side, along with the secretary's son and the other Walter Bishop. Hmm. So they're not in on it. Last night, Eddie Dillon escaped from the facility on Liberty Island. Tattoo in the back of your neck. Looks like a son of some kind. So they gave her one too, yeah. She must have one. The other one must have a tattoo. Well, the girl that's trying to make you believe you are. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. I agree. <laughs> Don't placate me because you think that I'm crazy? What would you think if I jacked your cab in a hospital gown with a gun? I'm not who they say I am. Olivia, come on, you know better. But I get it, I get it. So where are we going? You're taking me home. I don't have to tell you that delusion of fringe division agent sensitive classified information is of great concern. Do you have any idea where she's gone? Not yet. Considering her mental state, she could be anywhere. Where are you going? To get my clothes? Not you. Olivia's in trouble, I'm not sitting here. I thought you had to go back to the hyperbaric chamber. I can be out for eight hours at a time. I got six hours left today. Hmm. Well, it's good to know she had a team that really cared about her. If I'm not back in 15 minutes, you can leave. Well, the Apple House? That's where your home is? No, but that's how I got here, and that's how I'm gonna get back there. What's stop me from leaving now? <laughs> Henry Arliss Higgins, 3248 Hastings Avenue, apartment 3. ID number 1002250567768. Blood type, B negative. Your inoculations are up to date except for your typhus, which is 17 days overdue. You might want to get that taken care of. So she gonna tap into her ability to just cross over? Hey! Hey! Agent Devin, sorry. Uh -huh. I wasn't aware that the French division was on serious. Oh, uh, that's okay. I should have ID'd myself. So is it uh, true what they say about this place? People have disappeared into thin air inside? I know. I know. Classified. Things 
she get the wedding and wedding all the time. Tell me about it. I, I, I will be a minute. There's no time for that. The protocols are already in effect. Yeah, I understand. Agent, agent, you can't. Once you amber all this stuff, whatever's inside or whoever's inside, is he dead? Or they're just like in some kind of stasis? There's a 6% chance that Agent Dunn will return to headquarters to surrender, and an 11% chance that she will return to attack. A 21% chance that she will attempt to contact someone that she knows. A 29% chance that she will return to the theater where her trauma occurred. And a 33% chance that she will attempt to... I don't like this version of Astrid. Contact the orders? Yeah. She's good at disguises. I've told them that too. Agent Dunham just left the Orpheum Theater quarantine in the city taxi. Get a line on the truck in that cab and find it. Yes, sir. Can you take me to 655 18th Street? Just off 10th Avenue. What's that? Uh, it's a company called Massive Dynamic. I've never heard of it. They make technology that could get me home. If I'm right, there's a lady who works there who may be able to help me. Well, we're going down to Chelsea. We're going to need some gas. Okay, so far, he's going to sympathize with her. They're, they're, dis they're establishing something there between them. Number. Yeah, I know. I know. Got my number. <laughs> Jedi mind trip. <laughs> you wish. I mean, with all their tech, the tattoo itself could have been a tracking thing. Then it wouldn't be any fun, right? The cat and mouse chase. What is she doing? Oh, she's crying. Hmm. Well, that's really nice. Nice that they give her that moment. Oh, wow, that was so easy. How? What? Oh, man. Ha! <laughs> so she had something on her? Or it's just a cabbie they tracked, right? Yes, yes. The hello would be nice. I know about the shootout at the Orpheum. Colonel Broyles told me all about it. Just play along. I know you took a blow to your head. Don't you come any closer? Liv, I'm going through it myself. Believe me, I know that the treatment can feel worse than the disease. Take your gun out and put it on the ground. Olivia, come on. I've been your partner for two years. Put your gun on the ground. I thought she'd play along a little bit, but I guess she doesn't care to do that. She just wants to get home. Where's Charlie? Yeah, think about what you're doing. You can't just keep running. Lock him in the ladies' bathroom. Uh, actually, it's just the bathroom. She's not effing around. There you are. <laughs> it's 
still have gas! Yeah, all right, now we know what it's like when Olivia has had enough. You're a hell of a shot. Yeah. No, actually, I'm not. Why are you gonna fool with me? The other Olivia's, them. Okay. Help them. There's your ally now. So she can shoot all of a sudden. All right, let's see if they explain this. Did you see the incident footage? Yes, sir. You know what I think? That there's only one person at French that you could make a shot like that. It's working. So they've done something to her where she can shoot the way the other Olivia shoots? Yeah. Right? Okay. Uh, let's, I'm, I'm rolling with that. I look forward to how they explain it, though. 18th Street, 10th Avenue. That's what you said. Oh, no. What? What's well, not here? You must never have built it. Okay, maybe got the plus two tool. Let me look it up. So, the Nina on that side, she could look her up by name, maybe. <laughs> that looks uncomfortable. I'm stuck here. So, that means... Well, that can... Ooh, what's this? Somebody's wallet to pay him. <laughs> the guy you mentioned, why you say you came here? <laughs> Frank? Yeah. Thought you said his name was Peter. Yeah. Peter. Oh my god. How is this happening? You don't look so good. Thing with those stuff they were injecting her with. I don't even know what's wrong with her. Nobody even give me a straight answer. We're gonna get her better. I promise you. We just, we just gotta find her. You know, um, someone else you could have gone to for help. Some place you could be hiding out, a friend, anything. Marilyn is back in town. I thought she was in France. She came home when she heard what happened. Who's that supposed to be? If it's a character they've mentioned before, I obviously forgot. You know, the last time I ran a fair out this far, the meter read about 300 bucks. Guess I'll just put it on your tab. I can wait for you, if you like. No, you go home to your family. You gonna be okay? Good on you, Olivia. I'm not crazy, you know. To prove that to you, I'd have to tell you some things that were even crazier. <laughs> That's true. That's so true. I mean, sometimes you just gotta believe in what you can't see. Gotta have faith. Thank you.
lucky for you. Let's hope they don't have an alarm system. I doubt it. Baby. Olive? Oh, her mom. Well. well, not really, but you know. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, so that answered another question that I had. Because I thought she was going to that safe house, but... How'd you paint in that? Yeah. You picked the colors. I wanted blue, but you convinced me to use... No. <laughs> because it was more cheerful. your home. This is your safe house. Alright. Crystal clear. She has the other Olivia's memories. With their tech and all that, somehow they're able to store it and inject it. Because what else could have given her this knowledge? It appears that your treatments have taken effect after all. Your plan was sound. They just needed a bit more no, it wasn't time. It was the adrenaline from her escape. The adrenaline triggered our Olivia's memory B lymphocytes. It carried them across the blood brain barrier and successfully transferred the memories, which means, for all intents and purposes, she is our Olivia now. Like, all around, like a wipeout. What's he gonna do? Holy shit! Thanks, Charlie. For what? For being my friend. Hey, Liv. Yeah. Thank you for not shooting me. Oh. <laughs> Won't like this. Why convince her she's our Olivia Dunham? Why is it necessary? You don't need to worry about that just yet. You're not certain enough. In due respect, Mr. Secretary, you're embedding one of them on my team, and you've embedded my team with them. I need to know now. <laughs> Can't make demands of this, Walter. Good try, though. Uh, okay, we're in a different one. All right. <laughs> That's a nice way to transition me. Woo! This is a trip. And that's what you call him? Walter, your real father? Yeah. Okay, go on. Well, Walter took me over there because he said he needed me to help him fix the damage on the other side. But you believed he was lying to you. He, he never had any intention to, to fix the other side. He wanted me to help him destroy ours. You said when you learned Walter was lying to you, your first thought was anger. They wanted to 
put a stop to his agenda. But you could have done that by staying there. So the one thing I don't understand is, why'd you come back? For love. But with the wrong Olivia. You know, I haven't seen those in a while. My shoes. The wallabies. Why are you bringing them back? <laughs> they go. <laughs> That's a great answer. <laughs> well, good. That's great. Well done. Okay, so I'm now wondering who is going to clue in that that's not their Olivia. But it's over now. Peter or Walter? We can get on with our lives. Right. How about we start with dinner? I'm starving. <laughs> the whole time I was in there, there's only one thing I could think about. Yeah. What? Ah. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Uh, I was afraid of this. And here it is. Let's go. I'm sure tomorrow will bring the usual insanity. May as well enjoy night off. Damn. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> I need a minute though. It's a lot in this episode. Um yeah. On a momento. For starters, this is an unforgettable season opening episode. For sure. For sure. I see now that essentially what I was hoping for with our Olivia and this Peter is going to likely unfold with full Olivia. I'm serious. Like, Oh my god, this is going into a little bit of soap opera territory. Just a little bit, and that's not a ding. That's not a ding. It's just different. Because now he's into this false Olivia. And now we have our Olivia, which leads to the scene that I've picked, who's stuck in the other universe with the full Olivia's memories. So the scene where Walter's pretty much explaining that... <laughs> is very eye-opening and the scene where he's talking to Broyles specifically where he's telling him that the merging of her memories and Olivia is necessary for something he'll find out about later on and I, I can't even fathom what that could be except for okay this is gonna sound crazy but I'm gonna say it anyway I was thinking he hates the other side so much that he just wants no traces of them around him. So he's like, okay, we've got the tech, we've got the serum or whatever they were injecting in her. Let's give her the other Olivia's memories. And then we'll have this full Olivia playing the role there while we have ours doing her job infiltrating the other universe. And that's just that. And it's, it's essentially kind of like, as, as I kind of uttered out loud in my reaction, it's a wipeout of the other Olivia. Could it be that simple? I don't know. And when it comes to this show, it never is. So <laughs> I'm just going to rein in some patience and let it unfold. Um, whatever he has plans. I'm sure it's not positive. And I'm sure our prime Olivia is not going to appreciate it. But it is. it was really cool to see how they had it happen in such increments. I really enjoyed that. And that's so. this is what this show really excels at doing. Is building things up for it to make sense and have a really nice surprise towards the end because I won't deny I was a bit taken aback at the fact that we have this Olivia in this other universe who who with all her training I didn't expect would kind of go off almost like a mad woman without really not knowing that you come off as a mad person and that actually would make the situation worse. I thought she would just do exactly what the other Olivia is doing. She would realize, okay, you know what? These people think I'm the other Olivia. Let me play along until I can get the hell out of here. Because she could have essentially done that. So I look forward to however you want a reason why that just wasn't plausible. 
because I, 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 to me, it seemed just a tad bit out of character. But I understand how it still serves to transition her state of mind from the Olivia we know who's in a panic state and wants to get home to her memories now being blocked out and, and overtaken by the full Olivia's memories. I get that. Totally get that. But I hope you understand where I'm coming from when it comes to just her acting the way she was acting, considering all her training and what she knows. And it's not like she ended up there accidentally. Like, this was something, <laughs> this was a plan. This was a whole thing, right? <laughs> In episode 22. All right, all right. Enough of that. Um, there was something else I was going to bring up. Yes, the cabbie. Uh, I forgot his name already. <laughs> no, Henry, Henry. <laughs> God, I know sometimes I'm terrible. But yes, Henry, I, I think, the he's good he, i like how they didn't just write him out I, I mean essentially it wouldn't have made a difference to me personally because i'm like okay he was used quite well to help her out uh, uh, and and he said it's very reminiscent of the collateral movie that i was thinking about and i do and they do mention tom cruise with that which i thought was awesome and having him now i guess he's gonna try to keep tabs on her but she won't recognize him so I'm not sure how he's going to help her, but I guess that's the mystery to see. Hmm. And then we have Peter and Walter. In, in season two, it was all about how Peter was going to react, finding out about his origins. And now, season three, I guess it's who and when is going to notice that their Olivia is not the right Olivia. And will they even notice? I mean, that would be truly impressive if they never do. <laughs> and the show just, like, turns into something else. Okay, okay. I, I, I won't go into that uh, rabbit hole, but I, I'm just saying that I think that's the overall mystery of season three is, um, you know, the real Olivia, please stand up kind of thing. All right, so that's all I got. That's all I got. Ash emoji-wise. I think it deserves a one because I just did not enjoy this episode as much as I wanted to. Just kidding. No, it's a five. It's a five. Oh, gosh. It's so good. It really is good. And there's so much going on that I know there's a bunch of Easter eggs and who knows what clues I've missed that leads to this, that leads to that, that ties back to this and that. I'm leaving it up to you because my pea brain can't take too much right now. <laughs> so there you have it. That's my reaction to episode one from the third season of Fringe. Share your comments below and let me know what are parts of this opening uh, episode of the season that you really enjoyed. Um, yeah, you know, share. <laughs> I like when you share. And if you want access to my full reaction to this episode with extra bonus stuff that I offer only to my club members, details on joining my club is in the description box below. But if you don't want to join my club, but you do want to help me grow here on YouTube and continue to stay consistent with more reactions, what thereof, details on how you can support this channel is also in the description box below. Nevertheless, until my reaction to episode two, I'll see you later. Peace out. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and check out my other videos.